I've just bought a new van. It's got a couple of dents in it. It's your van, actually. It's a good van. <laughs> um, we need to put an awning rail on it because it's probably like the first go-to mod awning out the side. Need to put, need to attach the awning to the van. And there's like quite a few ways to do it. Our go-to way of doing it and sort of like the best selling product we probably do actually is a just a straight up standard c-section rail so these are actually do you mind quickly doing this yeah go ahead fairly few more elaborate ones we do but truth be told the best way to fit your awning to your rail is this stuff here and it is c-section rail um when pieced together it becomes one long rail and yeah, for years it's just been a pretty simple way to do it. We make it out of aluminium. Um, we put these little, you ready for a zoomy boy? Yeah. Put these little beads in so you can slide your awning rail in a bit easier. But fundamentally, you can chop it, piss around with it, modify it, and just make it attach to your van pretty friggin' easily. They go straight in here. So if you're gonna have, I've got a little short wheelbase transporter, for example, three sections of 88 centimeter track go perfectly on the top of that thing. That goes in there. Then we put, oh look at that, here is my assistant. A little pouch full of, how many? Uh, six. There'll be three six, rail. six self-tapping screws. That are these boys here. Are these Emery? Yep. Yeah, sick. Dome head. Six. See that is a dome headed, self-cutting, self-tapping, zinc plated screw. And um, yeah, they're insane actually. They're like really good at slowly cutting through the metal and then doink, down they go. Mm, nice. Um, so if you ordered three sections, you get three sections, six screws, in they go, end caps on it, and that'll arrive with you. Luckily, we are here today, and we don't need to send it to ourselves. Because we know our way around the transporter fairly well, we probably aren't gonna need this screw pack. This video we are making for all of the T5 and T6 guys. I mean, sure, that was what's in the box if you buy three sections normally, but actually, if you wanted to, for a Volkswagen Caddy, for example, a car derived van, two sections is great. And if you've got like a Crafter or like a Beast Mode van, four sections. And I think on the website you can add two sections, one section, three, four, whatever. Bit of a grubby gutter here. Sorry. So that's really Max's van, not one that No, I'm joking, mine would be the same. Um, in a short wheel beast based van, you have four blanking bolts here. One, two, three, four. Long wheel base, five. Um, this setup works the long and short. Um, what we're gonna do really quickly is these sections measure 88 centimeters. Not that that really matters. But um, if we tee this one up here to, you'll have a little yeehaw in your van about there. That sharp bit put about there on the yeehaw bend where it, where it starts to straighten out for the entirety or the full length of the van. You prop it up like that. Um, about there, get our sharpie, and then just draw a little line. Can you see that, Max? Eh? Yeah, you can. Little line there on that one where we're going to drill a hole, and then here we're not actually going to drill a hole. We're going to mark another line in line with that hole. That there is going to be a cut. So we're going to cut that and drill a hole there. Eight millimeters. You ready? Get it. We've given you these kind of handy little zones here. With aluminium you can drill quite slowly. Oh, cutting. File or some sandpaper is gonna be our friend here. Just take the rough edges off of that. And then take the rough edges off of that guy. You happy? Always happy. Perfect. That goes there. And that hole. This bolt here. Can you see what's happening here? Yeah. So we're gonna bolt that in with the bolt. And then this bolt here is gonna push and clamp both of these two yeah. down. So if you're on the same page as me, you'll also be understanding that we now need to cut. Yeah. And go out for that. 
So maybe you could tell me where, right there? A little bit more to my left. There? Yeah, that'll do. Got another for the gap there. That's looking good to me, Max. Yeah, I reckon we can make that work. And then, the third section. <sighs> little bird poo here. Okay. And then this guy. Got a little hole there. No more cuts. No more cuts. Two cuts, two holes. That's all you gotta do. Nice. Mate, this is Max's van here. And some thug stole our original blanking bolts out of here. Which we're cool with, because we can make new ones. But if your van, your van 99% of the time will have its original bolts, track and blanking bolts in here. Quick tip, they are made of very soft material indeed. So when you do crack them, just be bloody mindful that they can shear. So just do it real slowly and don't shear them off because they're a bitch to undo after that. Once you've undone them, you can peel off a rubber washer that's underneath that a little gasket that basically keeps this watertight. Um, I'd usually use those to seal. However, we don't have them. Hmm. But we do have these. These are just rubber washers. You've already got a set anyway, if you're installing it on this van. Yeah. Um, because your van hopefully isn't as butchered as yours. <laughs> Come on. But these are easy to get hold of. It's a, it's, a, it's a rubber washer. And it simply goes like that. And then we can start putting together this elaborate collection of pieces that we've been so careful to make. And that will go there. And then your blanking bolt we go over the top of that, but um, in our case, Max, because some bastard poached your blanking bolts. These are actually an upgrade because we supplied them. Yeehaw. This will sandwich between those two. You might think it's like a crazy big gap, but I guarantee your awning will still pass through there absolutely flawlessly. Let's keep partying. If you are struggling to find a, a rail to fit, work with your roof bars. Um, you can quite easily see this, this section here. You can actually grind that high bit off of the rail itself and have a big gap here in the track and your awning can come here, exit the track there, go around and in. So it's really easy to modify the cell in your track. It's not a big, big deal. So that's it, We're, we now have a Universal rail. We've now fitted a universal awning rail onto a Volkswagen transporter. We've also told you what is inside the box of the stitches and steel so done universal rail. Two videos in one. Two videos in one. We are but so I generous. I'm not going to be the guy that jumps to the conclusion, but I believe that probably 90% of the guys fitting this rail to their van are T5, T6 guys. Yeah. Which is why we did that. But it can fit us anything. Two sections of it go great on your caddy, four sections on your crafter. And then if you don't have blanking bolts like we did for this fan, you simply take out the self-tapping, self-cutting screws and screw them in like that. Bang, bang. Screw it in. And it may be a blob of Sikaflex to seal it, but I think you'll probably be okay. It's 10 mil from side to side, and the jaws are between five and a half and six mil so we recommend that any on or any any cater or bolt rate between six and a half and nine and a half will be pretty solid in there in relation to pulling it in the bloody thing but also not pulling out if it's windy. Nice. And that obviously works with all of your things, right? That is stitches and steel specific, but to be fair, kind of universal too. Um, cool. it's a bit chunkier because we use the marine grade sailing bolt rope. Most caravany companies use cater because Bang like caravan -y stuff. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. yeah, man, I think we're there. Cheers for uh, slapping the film. Yeehaw! Thank you, Max. No worries.